BK Virus, Wikipedia Article Audio The BK Virus is a member of the Polyomavirus family. Past infection with the BK Virus is widespread, but significant consequences of infection are uncommon, with the exception of the immunocompromised and the immunosuppressed. The BK virus was first isolated in 1971 from the urine of a renal transplant patient, initials BK. The BK virus is similar to another virus called the JC virus, since their genomes share 75% sequence similarity. Both of these viruses can be identified and differentiated from each other by carrying out serological tests using specific antibodies or by using a PCR-based genotyping approach. History Presentation The BK virus rarely causes disease but is typically associated with patients who have had a kidney transplant. Many people who are infected with this virus are asymptomatic. If symptoms do appear, they tend to be mild, respiratory infection or fever. These are known as primary BK infections. The virus then disseminates to the kidneys and urinary tract where it persists for the life of the individual. It is thought that up to 80% of the population contains a latent form of this virus which remains latent until the body undergoes some form of immunosuppression. Typically, this is in the setting of kidney transplantation or multi-organ transplantation. Presentation in these immunocompromised individuals is much more severe. Clinical manifestations include renal dysfunction, and an abnormal urinalysis revealing renal tubular cells and inflammatory cells. It is not known how this virus is transmitted. It is known, however, that the virus is spread from person to person, and not from an animal source. It has been suggested that this virus may be transmitted through respiratory fluids or urine, since infected individuals periodically excrete virus in the urine. A survey of 400 healthy blood donors was reported as showing that 82% were positive for IgG against BK virus. In some renal transplant patients, the necessary use of immunosuppressive drugs has the side effect of allowing the virus to replicate within the graft, a disease called BK nephropathy. From 110% of renal transplant patients progress to BK virus associated nephropathy and up to 80% of these patients lose their grafts. The onset of nephritis can occur as early as several days post transplant to as late as 5 years. It is also associated with ureteral stenosis and interstitial nephritis. In bone marrow transplant recipients it is notable as a cause for hemorrhagic cystitis. Transmission This virus can be diagnosed by a BKV blood test or a urine test for decoy cells, in addition to carrying out a biopsy in the kidneys. PCR techniques are often carried out to identify the virus. The cornerstone of therapy is reduction in immunosuppression. A recent surge in CVAN correlates with use of potent immunosuppressant drugs, such as tacrolimus and mycophenolate mofetil. Studies have not shown any correlation between CVAN and a single immunosuppressive agent but rather the overall immunosuppressive load. Immunosuppressant Induced Susceptibility other therapeutic options include valflunamide, cydofovir, IVIG, and the fluoroquinolones. Valflunamide, a pyrimidine synthesis inhibitor is now generally accepted as the second treatment option behind reduction of immunosuppression. The rationale behind using valflunamide in CVAN comes from its combined immunosuppressive and antiviral properties. 
two studies consisting of 26 and 17 patients who developed Kvan on a three-drug regimen of tacrolimus, MMF, and steroids had their MMF replaced with alflunamide 2060 mg daily. 84 and 88 percent of patients, respectively had clearance or a progressive reduction in viral load and a stabilization or improvement of graft function. In a study conducted by Teschner ETAL in 2009, 12 thirteenths patients who had their MMF exchanged with alflunamide cleared the virus by 109 days. In a case series, there was improvement or stabilization in 23 26 patients with Kvan after switching MMF to Laflunamide. There are no dosing guidelines for Laflunamide in Kvan. Patient-to-patient -patient variability has made dosing and monitoring of Laflunamide extremely difficult. Diagnosis a recent study from the Cleveland Clinic reported that BK viremia load 185000 copies slash ML at the time of first positive BKV diagnosis, to be the strongest predictor for Kvan. In addition the BKV peak viral loads in blood reaching 223000 copies slash ML at any time was found to be predictive for Kvan. Treatment Laflunamide in Kvan Other treatment options Prediction of Kvan after kidney transplantation No guidelines or drug levels and doses exist for proper reduction of immunosuppressants in Kvan, most common methods. Study of 26 and 17 patients were dosed between 20 mg slash day and 60 mg slash day with trough levels of 50 100 g slash ml. Failure was seen in patients with alflunamide plasma levels 40 g slash milliliter. One study of 21 patients found that low levels and high levels had similar effects on the rate of viral clearance. Those with higher levels had more adverse events, in the study by Teschner ETAL, dosages and drug concentration showed no correlation with substantial variation from person to person, in the Teschner study, low drug concentrations were associated with decrease in viral load. This makes it difficult to determine whether or not reduction of viral load or addition of alflunamide was the cause for viral clearance.